Hi, and welcome to Milgat Farms. Beautiful day on the farm, stressful day on the farm. It's, you probably hear me, I got a little bit of an echo. I can't stop that because of where I am. It's Friday night, I'm getting ready to sit down and have movie night with my kids. We've already done the first pizza. Kids are in there having a picnic because they like to hang out on the carpet and watch the movie and enjoy their pizza. When I thought, I'll go upstairs while the pizza's getting done and make my son's bed and be ready for bedtime. I came upstairs and I found water everywhere. Oh, my heart sunk, guys. It really did. Let me show you why I don't like quarter turn shutoffs for a toilet or a sink. Oh, these are ugly. All right, and let's go with hateful, too. This is the quarter turn that was leaking. The difference in this one and a regular compression fitting is this doesn't have any kind of a compression nut or packing on it. So that means at some point this can leak and it did leak on mine. I can't tell you why it leaked. I just know that it did leak and it was coming from right around here, okay? If this was a, a compression fitting, this handle would have come off. In fact, this one had to come off at all. You'll see a little nut the same size as the one that was holding on before. And all you have to do is just ever so slightly turn it and it'll stop. That's what they're designed to do. These, not so much. That is why I do not like these things. Can you guys hear it? What's going on is I've already drained all the water in the house, but we had a, a leaking toilet, right? We had a leaking toilet, meaning inside the tank was just running over. So something wasn't quite right. There may be a piece of dirt or something in it, I don't know. But instead of fixing it, I shut the valve off. So all I did was do a quarter turn. Well, you can hear it. And when I did, I, nothing happened. Obviously the water turned off, but then next thing you know, this evening, not I didn't catch it during the day, I wish I did. It just started dripping and it filled up water all through here. And it went right down through. And my guess is it's probably under the porch leaking. Thankfully that's not in our dining room. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and pull this off. I'm gonna try to get this off without breaking anything or pulling it out of the wall, that'll, that'll be tragic if that happens. And then put a new one on. Thankfully, I've got a new one. Oh, boy, this is frustrating, guys. So I don't have, I didn't bring a wrench. I should have brought a wrench. That was dumb on my part. But I'll get it with this. And I bet you what's gonna happen before I do that, make sure we don't have, oh yeah, there's water in there. That's gonna be bad. Yep. I don't know if this is gonna leak it or not. I hope not. I got towels just in case. Down to the ground, buddy. This one doesn't want to come off. Oh, there she goes. Oh no. No, oh, that's not working. There we go. That gives me a little more grip. <clears throat> Okay, there's that. Oh my stars, they got that thing so tight. That is such annoyance. Yep, there it is. All right, there's that. Replace that at some point. Now for the challenge, guys. So I gotta hold on to this while pulling this off. Okay. <clears throat> use the valve itself to really 
put a hold on it and I don't what I don't want to do I definitely don't want to twist it in the wall oh no way oh that doesn't make any sense guys oh wow that really doesn't make sense thread sealer we're going to put it on the threads and I'll put a little bit on the inside too just to make absolutely sure we got it and I know I'm gonna get this junk everywhere this is one of those occasions where it's it's okay to be messy it's better to have more and not need it than need it and not have enough on it because your day is gonna be bad Okay, now we got that. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit on the inside of the threads here. Okay, and I've got my fingers in it now. Okay, I need something to wipe my fingers off with. Come here, paper. Now we're just gonna put them together, tighten them down, and hope they work. Here's my 18. Here we go. That looks like an 18. No way, 19. Yeah, baby. All right, what I'm not gonna do is I am not. Let me get that off first. So what I'm not gonna do is start cranking this thing down because I will for sure mess up the joint in the in the wall. So that's the last thing you wanna do if you're trying one of these repairs out yourself. That'll be okay. So we'll see what we can do about getting it on without moving it. Yep, that's gonna be tight. is. size wrench for this game. I'm an idiot. I know I don't have the right size one for that. Are you kidding me? That is not possible. I hate these things. All right, guys, we got to go down to the basement, also called the abyss, and then turn the water on. I'm going to leave the faucet on upstairs. Actually, the shower's on, and so is the other bath. The bathtub is on too. So they're gonna both be open and the water's hopefully gonna be running. We'll see what we got. All right, guys. It's the way the basement always looks. Don't like that. All right, right here's our switch. Okay, that's coming on. We're gonna give it a second. And. So we got a blinking light on our controller. 
I did a video not too long ago about that. That is our three phase, uh, sort of phase converter and a controller for our well pump. And thank goodness the well pump wasn't bad. But what was bad was that guy right there. Ugly. The well guys came out, did an awesome job. Um, we thought it was a well pump. That's why we had them come out. Or I could have put that in by myself, but I was glad they were here. All right, let's run upstairs. And let's see what we got up there. Okay, water's not on yet. That's good. This is the farthest point in the house. So if this water's filled up, that means this may be filled up. There may still be an airlock in there. We're going to turn it on here in just a minute. Whoa. I'm not sure what that junk is. Maybe I'll get flushed. <clears throat> so I'm going to give you a couple more tricks, guys. I'll say a couple. I'm going to give you a trick. So you see my newspaper down here? Let me show you how I did it. <clears throat> Man, these floor, floors are warped. Oh, I hope they go back. So you want to take a piece of newspaper and you're going to set it right underneath the heater like this. And you're going to try to get it up in there as best you can and just let it sit there. Now what that's going to do is it's going to wick the water out. I don't know where I picked this up, but it really works well. We had a leak downstairs a couple years back. Um, a different kind of issue was with the toilet and I just put the paper right under it and it took care of it no problem. So if you can't get it under here and you know you've got water under the toilet, what you're going to have to do is take the screws off, lift the toilet, and possibly have to do another wax ring. In this case, if I can get it out, I'll be okay. So let me show you over here. All right. Here's a newspaper that I did. You can see it. Right there, it's all wet. So it did draw some of it out, and that's what we want to do. All right, I'm laying on the toilet, and we may have some water underneath it here. So what we do is we just take this guy and just keep finding dry pieces of the paper and shove it in there. And you're not shoving it, you're trying to just ease it right underneath, just like that. And it's, sometimes it won't go, so you may have to tear. Like that piece ain't going in there. Just doesn't want to work. So there we go. Now that's a trick, that's a trick to get it out, okay? So I'm just kinda, I'm pushing, trying to wedge it in. I'll let it sit there for a few minutes and we'll see. I'll show you something else newspaper or even a brown paper bag will work. What you're looking for is to put something underneath of the fitting that you just installed and you'll come back a couple hours later to make sure that you don't have any leaks. If you don't put something under it and you've got a leak, you may not see it or um, it could be really bad and you could have a problem. Obviously you took care of that when you put it together or in this case I took care of it when I put this back together. However, I want to make sure I don't have those little drippy drips that are going to cause my floors to get warped. More, let me say, now more warped. So I'm just, I'm just going to take a piece of newspaper and place it right here. So I'm going to take, I'm going to take a piece of newspaper and I'm going to put it right under here. And you can tell this newspaper doesn't have any water on it. It's got, it's a little wet, moist down here, but there's nothing on the top right here. And so we're going to, I'm going to leave it sit here. I put my hands under. I don't feel. Uh oh. I feel water. I don't know where that's from. Hmm. You don't feel anything. Okay. All right, so you can tell for sure this paper, now this is wet. It's, it's a little moist right up here around the top. I'm gonna fold it back, I'm gonna put it up on the wall. I'll be back maybe like an hour, and we'll see if we have any drips. If we have a drip, then we gotta fix it. Nope, I gotta finish what I'm doing. I'm, I'm working in the bathroom, buddy. I'll be done in just a minute. Whatever in the bathroom, Kids always want to come in. <laughs> Let me see if I can turn this off. Okay, can you guys see me better? Look, I want to say thanks for watching our videos. Uh, I, 
I, I wouldn't normally video something like this, but it is something that happens on a farm and you gotta be ready for it. I knew I had a problem a couple years ago, so I went ahead and bought a couple extra quarter turns, just like what I had, so that if I ever had another problem, it was gonna be taken care of. Um, I think it's gonna be okay. <clears throat> In the past, our floors have come back and they've been okay, uh, but if it might, there's not much you can do. We can put our, our dehumidifier in here and that will take some of the moisture out. We may have to do that tomorrow, but right now, I really wanna go hang out with the kids and the family, and we got new bunnies. We'll go put a video on, about that pretty soon, so stay tuned for that. I wanna say uh, thanks guys for watching our videos. We really, really appreciate it. We hope that you're enjoying them and would consider becoming a subscriber. Love to have you back visiting the farm. And let's see what else. That's about it. So until next time, oh no, no, we gotta do this. Consider giving us a thumbs up. And until next time, did you say God bless you? Come on over here, do that again. Come on in. <laughs> Come on over, can you see? Hold on, let's see if we can see you. <laughs> what up, boy? All right, can you sit down? Sit down right next to me. Come on over here. <laughs> All right, everybody. This is my son, Gabriel, future plumber, future farmer, future repairman. He's gonna be able to do it all, right, Gabriel? Maybe. <laughs> At any rate, we really appreciate you watching our videos. Consider giving us a thumbs up. And ne until next time, God bless you guys.